Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Good morning, Dr. DeGenero and Kimberly Alexander. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas, on the Valder Beebe Show on KYBS. How are you guys today? Great. Doing well, thank you. Thank you for joining me for talking about the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And their one goal in the world is a world without blood cancers. Doctor, if you'll set the platform, and then I'll speak with Kimberly. Ms. Valder. Um... So this is, I'm glad you mentioned our goal, our vision is a world without blood cancer. These, uh, these diseases are the third largest cancer killer in the United States today. Leukemia, lymphoma, multiple myeloma. Um, they are, um, the, we, have no, we have many new treatments for these diseases, but no cures yet. And we need, really need to advance these cures. Um, one of the hallmarks, one of the things that sets these diseases apart from other cancers is the fact that we don't have a mechanism to detect them early. There isn't a mammogram for leukemia that's available. And so patients present to their physician with a full-blown disease. Our goal at the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is to be able to have the physician say back to the patient, I have an effective therapy for you. Uh, we've made tremendous progress. Uh, great advances to, for the treatment of childhood leukemia, for example. We've taken the survival rate from 10% to 90%. Uh, in adults, we've cut the death rate from lymphoma almost in half. But still, a third of blood cancer patients do not survive their cancer diagnosis. And sadly, Kimberly knows that experience all too well. Before I bring Kimberly into the conversation, name the three blood cancers for us. The three major blood cancers are leukemia, lymphoma, and multiple myeloma. And again, these are diseases that affect the blood, the cells in the blood, and the bone marrow. Kimberly, mm -hmm. I'm so, so sorry for your loss of Elijah, but could you give me a capsulation of your story that makes you such an advocate? Well, my husband, Elijah, was diagnosed with multiple myeloma in 2005, so it was a couple of years after he retired from the NFL. He was a, a linebacker. He played nine years. He was big and, and seemed relatively healthy, and so we were all completely caught off guard when he was diagnosed with multiple myeloma. As his caregiver, I thought it was really important for me to arm myself with as much information as I possibly could, so I became very active in finding out information and trying to ask a lot of questions questions. And even though our story didn't turn out the way that we wanted it to, I felt like it was really important to make sure that I continued to help families who find themselves in the same position. Where you stand today, is there anything you would do differently? And what do you want to do in the future for this disease? Well, as far as doing anything differently, I would probably say no. At the time, I did the best that I could, and I feel like I had surrounded myself with an amazing team, and I was so appreciative of all the support that I had, and, um, you know, we, we did what we could for him, and I think his, his final years were the best that he could, could be. I even would tell people all the time that I felt like he was an amazing cancer patient. He was also an advocate, and it really has allowed me to kind of move in, to fill in the big shoes that he left to help other families who find themselves in, in our position. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I know that has touched someone and inspired many. Dr. De Janeiro, is her story unique? Is Kimberly's story unique? Uh, sadly, Kimberly's story is not unique. There are at least 200,000 uh, 
new diagnoses of one of the blood cancers in the United States every year. And very frequently, the, uh, the story that I hear is very similar uh, to Kimberly's. Uh, patients generally feel healthy. Uh, they might have a minor symptom like uh, bruising or a fever. Um, in the case of multiple myeloma, perhaps some bone pain that's unexpected. It's why, Valder, we're doing these interviews to bring awareness to the blood cancers during Blood Cancer Awareness Month so that um, families that might be affected in the future know to come to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society for help. I, I want to add one thing to what Kimberly said. She she's such a strong advocate and it's important. You know, beating cancer is a team sport and we're on the patient's team as well. Uh, something that is important to me is that we get the word out about multiple myeloma, particularly for the African-American population because uh, the incidence in the African-American population is nearly twice as frequent as it is for other Americans. So it's important for people to know about this disease, um, understand the symptoms, and, and most importantly, where to go for help. Thank you so much for saying that. That was a brave statement coming from you, and it's brave for Kimberly to share her story. Where can my audience go online as we wrap up and get more information? Best place to go is our website, lls.org. And if, uh, if you're a patient, please call us immediately. We can help you. The number is 800-955-4572. Dr. DeGenero and Kimberly Alexander, I am much better for having spoken to you today. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Good day, you. Valda.